In this lecture, we will see the bar chart, which is just like the column chart, but rather than showing vertical columns, it is showing horizontal bars. We are working with the same data set. We have five subcategories and four quarters. Let's select the data, go to insert all charts. And this time we want to select our bar chart. And as you will see, it is exactly the same thing. The difference is that this time we have horizontal bars, which look like this. Now, remember there is no right or wrong answer here. As a matter of fact, I want to just copy and paste this and also create a column chart so that you can compare them side by side. Let's go to change chart type and change this to a column chart. Now, as you can see, the advantage of using a bar chart is that even if you have a very limited amount of space, like in this case, the amount of space is very limited. A bar chart makes the data appear in a much easier order. The reason is because it is very compact. Number two, all the subcategories, if you notice, are coming like this, which is great, right? Because the problem with the column chart is that all the subcategories are at the bottom, which would make it difficult for the person to read it. In a bar chart, it is in a natural reading order, which means it's left to right, top to bottom. Again, just a matter of personal taste, but given a choice, I always like to use the bar chart over the column chart. Let's try the other ones as well. So in the bar chart, we have a stack bar, which looks like this. And finally, we also have a hundred percent stack bar that looks like this. Here again, you notice the percentages are at the bottom and we can see the numbers. If I insert the data label, let me give you a small tip. When you keep the numbers inside, you would notice that the numbers are not very prominent. You know, so it's a little difficult for you to read the numbers. What I like to do here is to simply click on any one number. So you notice it selects the entire yellow series. Go to format at the top and then select any one of these shape styles. What this will do is that it will automatically make the background white. Now you can press Ctrl B to make it bold. And you can also increase the font size to let us say 12. And you notice that these look so much more prominent compared to the three numbers on the left, right? So you can simply select to a format painter and then click on the other numbers as well. The, the background color will still have to be put manually. So we can go to shape style and do that again, increase the size to 12. And you get the idea, right? We can do the same thing here as well. Format, let's select a yellow, increase the font size and make it bold, right? It's just a matter of personal taste, but I personally always like to select a shape style because I feel that this makes the data look a lot better.